Hi, this is Phoenix Genesis for phoenixgenesis.com and our two YouTube channels, Phoenix Genesis and Fry Camp. We're playing Minecraft on PlayStation 4 in my super flat world with the default texture pack. And I want to show you the new um, blocks we got and some of the other new goodies we got in our uh, update yesterday. I'm so excited. Thank you, 4J and Mojang for giving us such wonderful um, new tools. First of all, we have the... Um, nether wart um, block it's right here if you're in your creative inventory and uh, see we have some nether right it's crafted but with using nether wart and there's some soul sand right there and it's gonna make a really nice ad addition in our palette of um, design tools so um, let's go around I mark the rooms where there's uh, new stuff so we're gonna go this way now nothing new in here and I apologize I've been working on this um, museum it's something that I've like thought about for like a year and I've been working on it for like um, probably like two weeks and I'm still not done but I did want to um, get these blocks in here uh, oh and we'll, we'll save this I made a little display out there we'll go back to this um, we have the um, grass block path which is awesome and it's right there the grass path and then we've got the magma cube another really awesome one and uh, the magma block and it's right there in your creative inventory and we'll come back to it and discuss it in more detail and I'll show you my little display outside uh, let's go upstairs for a minute real quick take the stairs okay let's see what we got up here nothing new Yes, here's another room. So again, here is the um, here's the uh, right here the Nether Warp block, and then we also got another new one, which is the Red Nether brick. And um, this is absolutely fantastic because here's like your um, Nether quartz, and you can see your uh, regular Nether. And I wish, I wish that they had come out with um, stairs and slabs for the Red Nether brick. Unfortunately, they they didn't. Um, that would have been awesome, but it'll be a nice little um, uh, kind of accentuate highlight for your um, nether fortress or just different things. I mean, we all love red, hopefully. I love red. I love all the colors pretty much. Um, but I think this is just going to be wonderful. And if you see it next to um, the uh, nether warp block, you, I mean, there's going to be some great things. I've been running around building, building, building. And oh, um, where did that go? That vanished. Um, there was another thing I wanted to show you is the... Um, I don't know what happened to it. Maybe I took it down or vanished. That's weird. Um, the bone. So here is the um, bone block. That's another new block we have. And I want to show you also. Let's get the snow out. Oh, you know what? I hope it didn't. This, I think maybe the snow melted because it's the second time I'm doing the video. Hold on. Um, There we are. So, you know, we all love white. It looks nice and clean when we're um making those nice... Uh, uh, modern buildings and you can see here is it's got kind of a really nice kind of creamish color it's got a little bit of lines in it, it looks more ancient it'll be great to make like dinosaur fossils like a uh, Jurassic Museum in your world and also we you know we have snow and it's got a little bit more durability than the snow and it actually looks uh, a lot cleaner and it doesn't I don't think it has the lines the way the um quartz does if I remember I've been I did a couple buildings I want to show you guys like you know yeah, see, it's a, a little bit cleaner in that break right there. And let's look at how the snow breaks. So you can kind of see the difference versus the quartz. So here's the snow. And then finally, here's the quartz. So see how the quartz has more of a, a distinctive line, more of a um, tiled look, which is great for like floors, but this is much nicer for like a ceiling. It's much cleaner. And, um, see if you go away from it it's it's totally smooth just like the snow and see the quartz leaves that line right there so um again i'm gonna have so much fun building with this material this is just like a new toy for me i really feel like it's it's christmas yesterday i just my boyfriend fed me and i just stayed in pajamas all day and parked out on minecraft um what else uh oh last but not least yes let's go and oh yeah here um, we also got the, um, this is another wonderful thing. We've got endstone bricks, which is about time. So we can do more with endstone. Endstone looks absolutely gorgeous in the city texture pack too. I mean, I just love it. So, um, it just 
this is gonna I'm gonna have so much fun with this and I already uh, built a building with it yesterday and anyway you can see how it looks compared to your sand so you can kind of mix and match with your sands and your sandstones with this and I also wanted to show this is the um once again this is the uh, nether warp block and um, it has the same textures it's, it's just red as the uh, red sand which is now looks very orange compared to the uh, nether wart and the regular sand so it has the exact same texture so you can kind of mix and match that and actually it might be really cool in a mesa biome so I wonder if you can put nether wart on nether wart block I mean obviously it goes on soul sand but now I'm kind of curious nope wonder if you can plant a plant on it. Let's try planting an orchid on it. Nope. Okay, so it doesn't accept planting anything. wonder if can you... No, I don't want to set anything on fire. I don't want to burn my museum. Anyway, um, over here we have another a wonderful thing, the magma cube, like I said before. And I want to show you again, this is a new addition to our lighting palette. And here's the beacon. Here's the uh, sea lantern. Here's the glowstone. And there is our magma cube. So um, again, we can't have enough lighting. The only thing you can't use it for is for like lighting up your water for your crops because it will melt the water where um, these other things will not. But other than that, there's a lot of uses for it now we're going to actually ah, take a leap of faith go down here sleep and I want to show you um, the display oh you know I forgot the ban banners ah. all right we're gonna go back upstairs real quick but anyway we'll sleep real quick so um yes we'll fly I'm Superman yay okay here we go um love it love it love it banners so um especially if you're into uh fantasy and medieval builds the banners for you but also for modern they make nice um bath towels in your bathroom so i went and stuck one in my um, modern mansion my uh if you haven't seen the video for that check it out also um my beach house has it for beach towels um they make nice beach umbrellas and again a banner on your castle which i also threw them up on my castle so there's the different colors compared this is again the colored wools the colored um glass and the colored clay and this is a, once again the default texture pack so you can see here's the red here's the orange you can compare and contrast to the uh, other materials here's the yellow here's the lime green here's your green here's your brown those are your warm tones let's go into our cool tones here's our light blue here's our cyan here's our blue and here's our purple here's our magenta and here's our pink and then our neutrals our, our, um, our light grays, our grays, our black. Black's great for pirate stuff. I have a pirate hideout in a ship I made. I love it. And here's um, and I'll show you that when I get to, around to it. Um, and here's my white. So that's the last one of those. And again, here's a sample of what you can do to make a little beach umbrella or a coffee house like umbrella or whatever you want to do with it. And you can put all one color. You can like mix and match on there and you can use any stem you want so um, I use the uh, nether brick fence but you could use any of the six woods as well and it probably works with the iron bars as well um, I haven't tested yet but it probably does okay and um yeah okay so that's it so the last I want to do is drop down to our display so you can see it all put together so here's the grass path and like I said, I love this thing. Um, I hiked a lot of Pacific Crest Trail. I hiked part down Mexico in April um, at the Mexican border in, in, you know, the San Diego area. And then in August, I did that 10-day adventure of the Sierras, which I've been so bad. I still need to put up for you guys. I will get to it. Um, so you can watch me cowering in a lightning strike at 10,500 feet um, <laughs> in this cove. Um, you know, and freezing and starving to death and all that wonderful stuff. Well, I'm still obviously alive, almost freezing and starving and boiling and all the wonderful things that happened. And llamas, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, and hopefully eventually we'll get the llamas for this edition because I know the PC edition is getting the llamas. Uh, we got polar bears. I'll show you that in a second. And by the way, if you got the pocket edition, which came out on October 4th, oh my God, they got, we got zombie horses and skeleton horses. And oh, I love those things, except they're evil. They like kill the wolves um and that was kind of weird but anyway i forget which one either the skeleton or zombie one of them did i wasn't paying attention but anyway we'll get to that later here's our path um things about the path is if you take bone meal and you um throw it out it will not go over the path which is really cool so you can really make a nice overgrown path so um here we go here let's throw some bone meal down 
so we can get right up to that edge and see it will not go on there uh, other things too is you can't put a flower on it let's get like a flower right here and let's get a um, let's get like some seeds and let's get a hoe so um and let's go back and get our blocks because I want to cover this up when I'm done okay so here we are and you cannot plant flowers on here so you can go on the grass and you can plant as many flowers as your heart like desires you'll put a flower right there but nothing will plant right here and weird thing is you can till this and but it will not let you plant anything so see oh that's weird it did this time when I tried to plant um, something else, it didn't. That's really weird. Um, earlier when I first did the video, and I'm redoing it now. Okay, so we'll let you plant things. Hmm. Okay, great. So, yeah, so then it just turns into regular um, dirt that you can once it's tilled. So, anyway, that's kind of interesting. Let me clear this palette out. Okay, so here's all our new um, blocks in action. And again, like I said, these magma cubes make great uh, lamps. You can um, swap them out in your village for that stupid, um, you know, black wool with the stupid torches out. And you can be like a little bit more stylish in your village, um, especially if you want to live in your village in one of the um, ready-made uh, houses. And uh, here we here's the bone in action with the hopper. And so you can put the um, magma cube right up there. It makes a nice lamp. Or you can just uh, stick it on an anvil, and it kind of looks really nice that way as well. So those are some different ways to um, do that. And then here's our um, nether wart blocks in action. Like I said, you can make it as almost like a little sandy beach, like a red beach. And I think it really looks nice with the blue. And there's the nice um, end, end stone brick looks really nice. And here's our red brick. And see, I made a nice little like chair with some um, wood signs and some uh, regular nether slabs. And here's our umbrella in action. Again, this is a monochrome uh, light blue one. And uh, those are our six blocks, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, yep, six blocks now. What else we got was we got um, a new um, crop, and this is a beetroot, and I'll make a video all about beetroot. And what this is nice is it's um, pinkish slash r uh, pink, red, and green, so it's kind of like a color opposite. stands out more than the other crops um, as far as contrast, and uh, this will be nice on your build. You know, sometimes you just want to have a planter in your house, but you don't want to have the potatoes or the carrots or the wheat because they just, the uh, colors don't go, and you can be more like uh, feng shui kind of um, in your build and more um, color conscious and, you know, have the right colors that go with your um, palette for your home. So I'm really excited to start using I've been running around all day, like, finding places to um, accentuate my homes with beets. And, uh, and again, this is what this looks like. Actually, you know what? I'll just go in here. So the, um, the seeds are right here between the pumpkin seeds and the wheat seeds. And then if we go in our food inventory, there's your beetroot. And it's also a soup. So now we have the mushroom stew, the rabbit stew, and beetroot soup. So um, start chopping down your trees, growing your trees, chopping them down, making bowls, because you're going to have a lot of like warm foods for the uh, cold weather. And uh, we got two new enchanted books. We got Mending One, which mends an item in your hand. I haven't tried it yet because I've been busy like designing things in um, this world. And then we got uh, Frost Walker 2. And I'm going to go show you how to um, make those boots real quick. So... Um, and the frost walker, I guess you cannot make it an enchantment table. You have to either get it with a fishing rod, get it from a villager, or um, uh, where else do you get it? I think you maybe find it in like a loot crate. But um, yeah, it's supposedly something you can't do. So it is pretty rare. And we're going to do some diamond boots. And it should be um, here. Perfect. Um, okay, so all we're going to do is take this baby, slap in there. And we're gonna make those things. There we go. Now we got a pair of those. And let's go ahead and stick it on Steve. Oh, you look so stylish. Look at me. I look very stylish. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's see what he looks like. Ooh, look at these boots are made for walking. Okay, there we go. And we're gonna walk 
with our boots. Now, what's really cool is what you do is you just walk over to any solid block there, and bingo, it'll turn it into ice. And it's also stay frozen, I think, in the PC version. Um, unfortunately, it does not stay frozen in this version. But you know what? What's cool about this is you can um, it, you can temporarily cross like a um, major water if like um oh especially if your boat starts sinking you're like oh my god my boat's sinking which sometimes it does because you hit like some stupid thing like a lily pad or something that makes it sink and you can just jump out with your frost walking boots and hopefully like just kind of walk across and um also as long as you have something solid to start the process and also you could lure a mob out here and then you know across a vast body of water and then it'll melt and hopefully drown the stupid mob and get rid of them so anyway that's kind of that's kind of a cool little thing now last but not least we got a speaking of mobs we got a new one we got the polar bear so he's right here in your inventory next to um villager and rabbit and let's go ahead and spawn one of these babies and check him out hi doggy um oh you know what i'm gonna be very bad too so if you don't want to watch um you kill the polar bear um don't because i don't want you to be upset but i want to show you what happened so he's supposed to be really friendly um very passive mob he's so cute isn't he hi mr polar bear and if you hit him he's supposed to get pissed but he doesn't really get that pissed the wolf gets much more pissed when you hit him but anyway what's really cool is like if you kill a horse you get a hide but if you kill him you get actually fish okay i'm sorry i'm gonna kill you and there you go you actually get a fish last time i did it i actually got two fish so i guess it varies yes yeah, see i got two fish last time okay since we feel sad about the polar bear we'll put him back there we go and anyway, uh, a little bit longish video, but there was a lot to cover. Um, like I said, 4J and Mojang are very generous with us, and um, I'm very excited to show you all this stuff and um, get out there and start um, uh, creating things. So